Hello! So here's the second episode of my Let It Burn series. I was quite astonished that uh, there were more reactions than I thought there would be. I thought this would might be a boring topic, but uh, people are seem to be interested. And uh, as you see, this is here uh, the box with the samples. Uh, the first one that we did yet, uh, last time was the the eye beam blue wax castable resin and uh, no, not resin uh, <laughs> excuse me and the next one will be the e sun i always printed two as you have already seen there's another one from the i beam from the blue one and uh, because the first one i want to burn out and the second one i want to then invest in a way that I can burn it out in the muffle and afterwards separate the muffle to take a look at what the surface of the investment material looks like. So that would be the second round. And here, and I always wrote it on the back with a water resistant marker. This is the uh, one from Städtler. It's a German company. And I know that this one 100% burns out because I also use it at work for mixing it with ceramic. You know, when you're layering a dental ceramic, you can uh, use it as a marker to, to visualize what you're layering better. So this one 100% burns out. I made some tests. Great. So I'm really curious to see what this one will look like because the, uh, the, the blue one, it turned black initially and then it started fading into white. Uh, before it 100% disappeared uh, after I left it um, soaking, not really soaking because I turned off the furnace at 1000 degrees and I just let it cool down. I just want to show you quickly before I turn on the furnace how big, how thick the walls of the furnace are. So it, it takes quite a while to, to, um, to cool down and there was also some interest what the name of the company is that this one uh, comes from it is a company called Renfat. They are very famous for making uh, good furnaces and also other dental equipment <clears throat> but you could also use it for other purposes you know if you're making jewelry uh, yeah it's, uh, uh, I think the, the highest it could go uh, was 1100 so last time I went to 1000 um, and but it could also go to 1100 and they claim that it takes, what was that, 20 or 25 minutes to go from room temperature if you go straight away to 900 degrees. Of course it took me longer because I always opened up the, the furnace door and when you let the cold air in, you know, because I was filming inside and taking pictures, I always dropped a bit down and then it took a little bit to go up again. Yeah, so this um, made this whole filming procedure a little bit longer. Okay, I will show you what the furnace looks like. Okay, here we go. So you could you can change the handle from here to here. Initially when I got it, it was here and I switched over here. And then you can just open up like that. And as you see, this is quite thick here. So the isolation is incredible. And of course it gets hot on the outside, but uh, I had another furnace before there um, it was like uh, really really hot and this one is, is I, I will try if I can still touch it later on when it's on 900 degrees or 850. I never uh, tried so but I went like that and I, I felt okay this is not uh, too bad. So inside they have this this uh, tray here and, and then here's the, the hole where the air is sucked out into this catalyst here in the back. Yeah. And uh, you can switch the catalyst off and on you know, because in the beginning I had it off. And then when I heard, uh, smelled that it was starting to stink, I turned it on. But also this one I turned on then. So it helps a bit, but it doesn't uh, get rid of this um, smell totally. And here, um, this is where the, the temperature is me measured. Yeah. Okay. Okay, when you switch it on, it's quite simple. Now you see Ranfert. Uh, they sell their stuff all over the world. Prices are quite reasonable. So when you switch it on, you can just use it like that. But I programmed everything on this program 8. You could even run, um, 
um, set it up that it turns on like let's say like uh, at three o'clock in the morning and then it would start uh, ramping up you know what you program it into so for instance here normally the dental program is like five degrees per minute until uh, 250 degrees then holding it for half an hour then going five degrees per minute to let's say 550 or we have some 500 or 580 then nine degrees you could directly go up to 800 degrees yeah, so but depending on the investment material you have to read what the instruction for you say and this is here the, the ramping up or you could even do cooling as you can see here yeah, but I'm not going to use this so here's the the, uh, the time and I I will I will use now the program number eight because this is programmed to ramp from room temperature nine degrees per minute up to the 850. So if I if I press, as you see, you have to press uh, not only once. You just press until it starts, and now it's already running, and the catalyst is running automatically. But I could also switch it off, as you can see, and it's already rising. Yeah. I still have to read the instruction for use. At work, we're also using one of these, uh, but I've never read the instruction for use because somebody already programmed it there and we never use any other program than uh, the, um, the one where you heat up the furnace directly to 850 and then throw in the muffle. I also got this kind of investment material, but this is gonna be shown at a la later point. So I will switch it off again. Yeah, so yeah, as you see now, it's shut off and I will put in the platinum foil. The platinum foil I, I cleaned and what you still see here is a kind of oxidation on the surface but it is clean, there's nothing left there and uh, so I will put it in like that and I will put on my my Eason natural PLA. Now, there we go. Yeah, Eason. And then I will start the, the furnace. And as we have seen already last time, I guess in the first uh, 150 degrees or so, we will not see a big change. Maybe the, the edge is curling up, but not more. So at the moment we are at uh, 24 degrees, so it will take a while until it's up to 50, 50 degrees. I will switch over. I didn't really expect that something would happen. It didn't even curl up anywhere. So, okay, let's open up the furnace. It hasn't even curled up. I guess at a high temperature later, I will push it back. Um, and then always when I open up, I will pull it in the front. Okay, let's open up the furnace. For my feeling, it starts to turn white before it was more translucent. 200. It has turned absolutely glossy. You can see uh, what I've written on the back. So it looks like a, gl uh, a glass, piece of glass now. And it's absolutely transparent. And uh, yeah, it still doesn't stink. So let's see what happens at 250. Okay, let's open up the furnace and take a look inside. Uh, as you see, it looks like a piece of toast bread in the back. It's already stretching. Yeah, and it's absolutely transparent. So here we are. Uh, it has melted. It is bubbly on the surface. It starts to turn brown, the caramel. It doesn't smell too awful, but I will turn on my catalyst now. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, I didn't expect that. Take a look. It turns also absolutely black. Wow, I didn't think that would happen. Okay, and it's smoking. Okay. In well, the front it already turns solid. In the back it, uh, it has crumbled. It's quite interesting that it's only on one side and not throughout the whole entire piece. 
Okay. Let's go. Oh, that was a quick one. So this was <laughs> a very quick cleanup in the back. As you can see, there are still some particles left there. And I guess the black is only left because uh, it is really at the front. I will push the platen for now a little bit back. So we have a, a more even distribution of heat across the platen foil. Yeah, I'm really curious. I guess maybe it cleared up already. As you can see, uh, there's, the black has disappeared totally. I will pull it to the front so you can see it better. There's still a little bit of white crust left but not that much. I will put it back again. Maybe it's already gone. I'm curious. Okay, let's see. Still some crust there. I guess it's like oh, this is the same or similar to the blue one that uh, the crust still stays there for a while until we reach a higher temperature around 900 degrees or so until these flocks disappear. Yeah, as you see here, they're still there. Okay, 600. To pull it to the front because it still looks absolutely the same. So as I get already guessed, this is the same behavior like the blue one. Okay, let's see. Nothing has changed. Let me pull it to the front a bit so you can see. Um, saying the truth okay i guess we will see a change again at 950 or 1000 I, I guess it will still be the same now the furnace already starts glowing still the same as you see the crystals are still there it hasn't changed there we Oh, there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's already glowing nicely. Maybe on the left hand side they got a little bit smaller, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's take a look inside. Oh, I will pull it to the front for you to see. Mm, hard to say. I guess it's already less than it was before. What do you think? I don't think anything changed yet. That's glowing nicely, huh? Okay, I don't see anything. Mm, it's cleaning up slightly. I don't know, is this because it's so yellowish? Now, as you can see, it's getting smaller. I guess not so much difference to the last one at 900. But let's see, can you see that the... This is incredible. The platin foil, foil seems to be translucent and you know, the camera has a problem <laughs> focusing on it. Pull it up in the front, and I also have the feeling it gets softer. It pull it out so you can take a look at it better. Oh, it's getting very hot. As you see, there are only some flocks left now. The platinum force starts to get a little bit wiggly, so to be careful. We are almost a thousand degrees now, and I will handle this one just the same like the eye beam blue castable. Uh, I will turn it off on 1000 degrees and let it cool down to room temperature and then tomorrow I will check if everything is gone. I, I guess it will be just the same. Although I must say that this one here had has less flux left than the other one. The other one had more flux and, uh, and like a little bit of a crust on the, on the platinum fold is already cleared up. But let's see. Maybe something happens still until 1000 degrees before I switch it off. Three, two, one. Ooh, thousands. Okay. 
Let me see. I hope I don't burn myself. I don't know if we can see that. Oh. I'm going to hold it here. Uh, a little bit left. Okay, I will put it back. And I will, as I said, oh, what was thought? I will, I will shut it off now. I'm curious to see what it looks like. So the furnace has cooled down. As you see, it's next day. I will open it up and I will put it in the front. And then I will put, take the camera off the tripod and then we can take a look at it. Okay, so yeah, it was so soft that it cr crumbled. Put on my glasses and just to inspect. So it looks really nice. There is, I don't know if you can see it, there are some spots on the foil. It is not the flux, but it is, I can also feel it. It's um, some little tiny grains, but not much. So here, I guess I would have to really cast in order to see what this is. Um, it feels a little bit rough, but not much. So I guess this would also be castable. As I said, I left it uh, only for a very short amount of time on 1000 and then I switched it off. And if you remember what it looked like yesterday, there were still some flocks left and they disappeared totally just like on the blue uh, casting filament. And uh, so I guess if I would have left it there for one hour, it would have totally disappeared. You know, what you still see or feel here this little little tiny grains but uh, nevertheless the rest looks really great this filament seems to perform just like the other one as i said i i also turned it off at thousand degrees and the flocks that we still saw yesterday they they disappeared and uh, it was still a little bit grainy on the surface and uh, but I guess that would have uh, vanished if I would have stayed longer. So I will clean this totally and then the next one will be with I-beam natural. They also have a natural material. And uh, let's see if this is the same. I guess the raw materials that the, the different companies use are all more or less the same. Okay, bye bye.